And again, we can compare between Hegel and Marx. Hegel says that thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. Hegel said that thesis, antithesis, synthesis. And what I have told you, thesis is a family. Antithesis is a civil society. And synthesis is state. Synthesis is state. That is point of view of Hegel. But here, how Marx has been modifying that? What is the opinion of Marx? Marx said that, yes, this idea is good. And for Hegel, what is the essence of this development? This is the methodology. This is methodology, contradiction, conflict, and that is point. If you look our life, then you feel some sort of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. First you live in, first you live in thesis. What is a thesis? When you become youngsters, angry younger men. After antithesis, then you involve in love story. And when synthesis occur, then that synthesizes both. You become too much mature, you, be, you are having love too. Same time you are also capable to having conflict with each other. That is all about life is full of conflict. History is full of conflict. Conflict, conflict is the base which ensures the development of society. If there is no conflict, so time and again student ask that, Sir, ye conflict ho hai. Ye dilemma ho hai. That means you are a human being. That is essence to be human. Apo, sir, management, GS me there conflict ho hai. To thesis and thesis karo. Partners may conflict ho hai. Thesis, antithesis, synthesis. That is the point. And what Marx says that Marx said, yes, this idea is good. But what Hegel says that, what is the essence of this idea is universal spirit? What is the essence of this idea is a idea, universal spirit. Universal, you can say universal spirit, or in other form, in other way, you can say it is an idea, universal spirit. But here, for Marx, Marx said, yes, I am going to use this dialectical method. Marx said that I want to use this dialectical method, but our purpose is different. Remember, every scholar is writing for some purpose. Hegel is writing. Hegel is utilizing, utilizing dialectical method for glorifying the state. For nationalism, that was the purpose of Hegel. But Marx is utilizing the same dialectical method for destruction of a state. You remember the purpose. Because what was the primary essence, what was the primary purpose of Marx to destroying capitalism. Again, I am repeating, destroying capitalism, not modifying capitalism. It was destroying capitalism. That was the essence of uh, Marx. And therefore, what Marx says that, Marx says that, yes, development takes place in form of a thesis, and thesis is capitalism. And capitalism is idea or matter matter. Because capitalist economy, you can see, you cannot see what is God, universal spirit. Whenever we are saying soul, that is the point. In idealist thought, there is some element of mysticism occur automatically. There is some element of mysticism because you are saying that God is running the entire world. God is regulating the entire world. But the problem is that how I can realize that who is God? That is a difficulty in our life. In that context, what Marx says that matter is a more important, material condition of life is more important, physical need is more important, you pay rent for the landlord. This is idea or matter. You keep ATM and ATM gives idea or matter. Matter. What is matter? Land. What is matter? Capital. What is matter? This material resources of this world. And that is the point, capitalist form of economy, that is the base of entire society. Because Marx says that yes, Hegel says the community is important, Marx says the community is also community is important. 
But for Hegel, what, what is the essence of community? Religion, culture. If you want to explain about Hegel, what Hegel says that, what is the essence of society? That is religion, culture, for Marx. What is the essence of society? Means of production. What is the essence of society? Economy. And without economy, we cannot understand society. Culture is not important. Idea is not important. Consciousness is not important. Therefore, what Baba Ramdev will say that, Baba Ramdev says, change your ideas. So many people are there. They are motivating the people. They are speaker for motivation. Aray, pehle roti ke padma gaan do, motivation do baad mein aega. Aur ek baat hai, apet rukho. Once I, I remember, Abhishek Bachchan was giving an idea. An idea can change the life. Abhi, hum bhi Abhishek Bachchan ho jay kiya hai. Dekhi, bhajo, thoda so paisa usa jin ke paas sa jata hai. Ke ideas dete hai. You can win. Unemployed, unemployed bachcha dekhta rai. Hum se poochho ke idea dete hai. Subha saam ka bhi nasta to ho nahi pa raha hai. That is the difference. So Marx was very much worried about that. Marx said, that, don't teach us a lesson. Don't give me idea. This is a consciousness. What is consciousness? First, we are looking for the bread and butter. Bread and butter is more important. Our idea is more important. You don't have breakfast in the morning. And someone says, no, no, this is an idea. Hai. You will become angry or you will become happy. And what Marx says that, but the contradiction of, and when people ask to Marx, because every stage is full of contradiction, just like family, you can find out some better element in family, some better element in antithesis, but there is some problem in the both, and then we can reach over synthesis, and synthesis is a combination of better element of both, thesis as well as antithesis. Similarly, but Marx says that, you will be surprised to know that Marx, even to some extent, praised capitalism too. Why? Because Marx says that capitalist stage of her history is better than its previous stages. Can you imagine where vehicles come into existence in capitalism? Better means of communication, better means of transportation, and we cannot we cannot neglect the fact that liberty, equality, and it is a democracy is also a gift of capitalism. What is a, therefore Marx says that undoubtedly capitalist phase of history is undoubtedly more progressive than its previous stages. Therefore, feudal society is more progressive as a capitalist society. Capitalist society. At least capitalism is giving freedom. At least capitalism is giving a some sort of democratic idea. Then it came with a some sort of a reason. Then equality, liberty. Because Marx has also witnessed the glorious revolution. Marx has also witnessed the French Revolution. Therefore, there was a conflict was going on for liberty, equality. And this was because of capitalism. He was very much aware of that. But same time, what he said that, Capitalist economy is a faulty in itself. And I will discuss about even nobody did better post-mortem of capitalism than Marx. Even, even 21st century, even in 21st century, when we are looking for the criticism of capitalism, nobody is better than Marx. What Marx says that, yes, capitalism is a progressive because thesis, thesis means there is something good. There is something good in a student. But there is something problem too. And what is the good in capitalism? Capitalism is progressive, but same time it is exploitative. Because what is the basic idea of capitalism? A few are controlling over means of production. And masses are deprived. Working class is deprived. And only few capitalist classes, they are only owning the means of production. That is the point. Capitalist economy is bound to destroy and even there is a seed of destruction lies within the capitalism. That is the idea of Marx. Why? Because it is a capitalism which creates working class. And what happens? Capitalism creates working class and feudal society creates a peasants. And this working class are under the exploitation. They are getting less wage. 
even they are not getting the true value of their labor and because of that continuous exploitation then a sort of a class consciousness emerge in the person or sorry in the entire working class not in person always remember marx is speak as a class then capitalism then this is the problem of capitalism that is point what is the antithesis for marx because there is exploitation in capitalism there is a problem in capitalism antithesis is dictatorship of proletariat what is antithesis of marx dictatorship of the proletariat and again i will i will tell you idea of capitalism in detail but how we can explain about thesis antithesis and synthesis what was the purpose of marx because marx is borrowing philosophy of hegel but change altogether the same dialectical methodology how marx is changing at all therefore what marx says the dictatorship of the proletariat and we know that every stage is full of contradiction and where contradiction will come to an end in synthesis ab jante ho life mein contradiction kahan khatam ho jata hai when we get salvation in philosophy this is a stage is known as salvation wahan pe contradiction khatam ho jata hai ki duality khatam ho jati hai contradiction means duality and when duality exists in life because of some contradiction ki whether we should work for community we should work for ourselves we should engage in a public job or we should involve in a business that kind of duality always always see try to this always try to change our life this is duality which affect our life but communism is a phase what is a synthesis of phase this is non duality that is the philosophy of sankara charya too there is a philosophy of entire life buddha buddha was overcoming of this dual life then he got the salvation that is in terms of philosophy duality come to an existence contradiction come come to an end and then antithesis come and what is the beauty of antithesis what marx says that dictatorship a humanist like marx will never support the dictatorship but why he said that what is better element of this dictatorship you realize the term just you focus over the fact that first time it was a dictatorship by working class anybody told you about the dictatorship of even marx is supporting the rule by working class this is very interesting this first time otherwise if you look the every philosopher what we have read out as of now somebody is speaking for the powerful state somebody is speaking for property class somebody justifying slavery even here marx became the first scholar what he said that it means it is a working class who is going to rule remember no idea can be more progressive than this there will not be rule of a person there will not a rule of an individual but this will be rule of an entire working class first time majority is going to rule over the minority this was happening first time so this was the positive and progressive dimension of a dictatorship of the proletariat but we cannot deny the negative point dictatorship dictatorship in no liberty dictatorship itself is speak about absence of liberty rights a uh, democratic government it was a authoritarian government it was a despotic government but what is unique unique what was strange what happened first time dictatorship of working class but we know that why there, there is a problem in dictatorship of working class all this very progressive idea very innovative idea but there is a problem in the dictatorship of the working class because what marx says that in the past there has always been a government by few over the majority there has always been the government by few over majority 
even you cannot give an example where majority is ruling over minority. This is said by first time by Marx, and this is going to here happen. But we know that even if minority have exploited over majority, and now majority exploiting over minority, this is state fair that we know that an eyes for eyes will make the whole world blind. Revenge is not justice. And therefore Marx says that ultimately we will arrive over synthesis. And what is synthesis? Communism. And what is synthesis? Communism. Communism is synthesis. Here, what is synthesis? State. What is synthesis? State. And what is synth what is the result? It is a communism. And let us see the change. Hegel says that a state is a march of God on earth. Marx said in a communist manifesto, he said that it is an executive agency of bourgeoisies. Therefore, in communism, nobody is going to rule. Nobody is ruler. No differentiation between ruled and ruler. No differentiation between worker, capitalist. No class is there. No state is there. No government is there. Can you imagine this society? Can you imagine a society without a state? Can you imagine a society with the nobody, no regulation will be there? And this communist society will be like that. Imagine the fact that whenever we are arriving in Delhi, whenever we are arriving in Delhi, free of cost hostel. Free of cost hostel, free of cost dinner, then we are celebrating together and there is no need to appear in a competitive examination because whatever you are looking for you can do you are free to do that is a marx is very romantic who said that in the communist society a person will become engineer in the morning and he will involve in fishing in the evening aisi duniya hogi no state can you imagine this kind of society where myself will become ruler everyone is a master and this is the age of communism, which is the best example of a democracy, which is the best example of equality, no, which is the best example of a fraternity. This age is a more similar like a Ram Rajya of Gandhi. Gandhi was a spiritualist. Marx was a neighbor spiritualist. And because what Marx was, Marx was a materialist. Hegel was the idealist. Marx was a materialist. Hegel said that idea is a sense of dialectics. Marx said that matter is a sense of dialectics. Hegel says that this dialectic will come to an end after evolution of German nation state. And Marx says that this dialectic will reach on its climax after arrival of communism. Again, the question is, has communism come? Communism but that is a different issue. But what therefore what Marx says that Hegel is standing upside down. Therefore, Marx reverse Hegel. Marx and Hegel kya kar diya? reverse kar diya. And but what he is borrowing from Hegel? Dialectical method. What he is borrowing from Hegel? Dialectical method. 